Like y'all don't be thinking, y'all don't be thinking about that. When these people be saying that God says stuff like mid sermon, because you know, if you say God says something like my ears is close because in my mind, he's the Lord of hosts, the Lord of glory. I want to know what he's saying. So when they say it, like I, I hear God saying, I'd be like, Oh, what'd he say? And they'd be like, you know, God is saying, uh, that your debt going to be paid off. Oh, okay. Did he add an addendum to that, that you just need to steward your money, right? Or we need to bring Dave Ramsey in here or something. Or he just said that, is that for everybody? Is that just for a few? It's just, or God said, you know, that uh, you, you're not going to suffer for long. Oh, okay. You really could have quoted the scripture for that. Like, I don't even think you had to paraphrase what you thought. Because at some point, we're lying. At some point, we have to call it what it, we're lying. Like, you know what I think some of this is? I, I honestly think some of this is that some people, not all, because people are in categories. You have people who are just unlearned and, you know, they're like Apollos, like they need a, a Priscilla and a, a and a, a, her husband to just pull them aside to say, hey, there's a better way to do this. Da, 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 da. There's, the, there's that category. There's some people that are deceived, that just need to be rebuked real hard. Like, hmm, maybe you should chill out. There's some people that know what they're doing. This this is a this is a, a way to like posture myself as a spiritual authority. But I think some people they got the mic and they hand all the things and a thought enters their mind. A thought. And they're so arrogant and so far from the heart of God that they sanctify the thought and say, Oh, because it entered my mind, it must therefore be God. When the Bible says to test everything where in scripture does this find authority before i say it you know, i'm gonna read y'all something in jeremiah because i just think it's time and i'm waiting on my salad so i ain't, I ain't got nothing to do because i ate a donut yesterday uh verse 14 jeremiah jeremiah 14 14 and the lord said to me the prophets are prophesying lies in my name i did not send them nor did i command them or speak to them they are prophesying to you a lying vision worthless divination and the deceit of their own minds it's just it's just things they're making up in their own brains and they're saying i said it and you know how you can confirm if god said it read the book is it in the book <laughs> is it in the book or not I'm one more thing one more thing because the amount of deceit that's happening in these social media, local church streets in the American church has me bothered. And I'm like, I'm going to have to start pushing back more because anyway, if a sermon, a 45 minute sermon, if the, the pastor or the communicators opinions, clever ideas, anecdotes, observation, if that makes up the majority of the sermon, and not God's word, then that already tells me that I'm listening to somebody who wants to establish their authority more than Christ's authority. And so when you have the audacity to then say, God said, I don't care what you're saying God said, because you didn't even appeal to his word. Like his word isn't, isn't even the basis of, the, of this entire message. So that tells me that's how you live your life. I don't want it. One more. Last thing for real. Some of what has made us susceptible to all this foolishness is that we need to re-engage with the fundamentals and the basics of the faith. These are fundamental things such as what does it mean that scripture is God breathed? What does it mean that scripture has authority? What is the canon and why is the canon closed? What is the place of prophecy in the New Testament or not New Testament, but what is the place of prophecy now? in the church today, in the local church. Um, what, what does Paul mean in Hebrews 1 when he said that back in the day, God spoke to us in many ways through the prophets, but now he has spoken to us finally in his son. What, what, what does it mean to not quench the spirit, to not despise prophecy, but to test everything? How do we test everything? Like, like these are really basic questions that I think if we, we get these down deep into our consciousness, we'll be on guard from craziness. 